Welcome. All right, so what I have here is x squared plus 8x minus 4y plus 8 equals 0. And what we want to do in this case is go ahead um, and determine what the focus is, the directrix, and the vertex, as well as to graph the parabola. And the first thing we need to do is identify, all right, well, what type of equation are we going to be dealing with? Because right now, this is not in any kind of form that we've dealt with. So the main thing I look at is, all right, which variable is squared? And since I see the x squared, I can say, all right, that means I want to take this equation, and I want to make sure I can write it in x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. Once I can put it in that format, I can identify what the vertex is, because the vertex is h comma k. And the focus, the distance from the vertex to my focus, as well as the distance from the vertex to my focus, as well as the distance from my vertex to my uh, directrix, is going to be the absolute value of p. So putting it in this format is going to help me be able to identify uh, not only the vertex, but also the value of p to help identify then the focus and the directrix. So we need to put in that format. How do we do that? Do, 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 do. Well, there is one very form. One thing I notice is these are binomial squares. And the only thing that we've learned in quadratics to go from a trinomial to a binomial squared is to create a perfect square trinomial, because perfect square trinomials can be factored into binomial squares. And the process of doing that is the lovely completing the square. So to complete the square, the first thing I'm going to do is I want to get, remember, this x squared and the y's on, once on opposite sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate my x variable. So I'll say x squared plus, and let's, let's subtract. So I'll add 4y and subtract 8. Add 4y and subtract 8. So therefore, I have x squared plus 8x equals positive 4y minus 8. Now, what I need to do is I need to create this into a perfect square trinomial. So to do that, I take my b divided by 2 and square it. Now remember, um, your b is going to be your um, coefficient of your linear term, ax squared plus bx plus c. We don't have a c in this case, but we do have a b, which is the coefficient of my linear term, which is 8. So 8 divided by 2 squared. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 squared is 16. So therefore, I'm going to now add 16 on both sides. So therefore, I have x squared plus 8x plus 16 equals 4y. Negative 8 plus 16 is going to be now a positive 8. Now, this is a perfect square trinomial. So I can rewrite this as a binomial squared, which is x plus 4 squared. All right, And you can factor out x plus 4 squared if you'd like to be able to determine that. Now, to get this to be like in this format, I need I need to factor out the 4. So I factor out a 4, and I'm left with y plus 2. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, now you can see that this equation is written in that format. So now my vertex, I can identify as a negative 4 and negative 2. Because remember, it's x minus. Well, there's no minus, right? So x minus a negative 4 is the same thing as adding. So therefore, my vertex in this problem is going to be negative 4 negative 2. So now I'm going to plot my point, my vertex, negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 2, 1, 2. And I'm going to say, all right, b for vertex. There's my vertex. Since I know the x squared, I've got to determine, all right, does the graph open up or is the graph going to open down? So I can't tell that unless I know the value of p. Because remember, p, um, the value of p is the distance from the vertex to the focus. And if that value is positive, then my, or my parabola is going to open up. If that value is negative, then my parabola is going to open down. So to find p, we see that I have these two that helps find the vertex. And then I could say 4p is equivalent to 4. So I'll say 4p is equal to 4. Then I solve for p, and I can say p equals 1. So therefore, the value of p is going to be up 1, which is right here, which I'll call the focus. And I'll put a nice f. Since my focus is above my vertex, I know that my graph is going to be opening up. right? Now, the last thing I need to do is identify the directrix. And remember, the definition of the directrix, or I'm sorry, the definition of p is the distance from the vertex to the focus, as well as the distance from the vertex to the directrix. It's an absolute distance. The, the actual value of p is just to the focus. But 
that exact same distance in the opposite direction is to the directrix. So therefore, since I went up one to find the focus, I need to now go down one to find the directrix. And the directrix is a line. Right? That's equivalent for any point. From any point to the vertex to the directrix is going to be equivalent. So therefore, since I have a horizontal, li uh, um, horizontal line, I know that it's going to be y equals, and that's negative 1, 2, and 3. OK, so now let's go and write in our points. So the focus is one point above the vertex. So I went negative 4 and then negative 1. And the directrix, since it's a line, is y equals, and it's one point below the vertex, so that's going to be negative 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph a parabola by complete and by put into its vertex form by completing the square, as well as identify and label the focus, the directrix, and the vertex.